Today we will be analyzing synapsis of chromosomes in meiosis for two individuals and determine if there is an expected difference in fitness between them. Individual 1 will be named Gon, and individual 2 will be named Killua. Both Gon and Killua have similar chromosomes, so it will be easy to compare the chromatids. Their chromosomes are both mixtures of MLI, centromere, JK, HG. So I have made the basic inversion loop here. So for this analysis, we will be starting out by analyzing Gon, which is individual 1. His two chromosomes are MLI, centromere, JK, HG, and also GHI, centromere, JK, LM. And since they are so similar, it is fairly easy to map out our synapses. Now if we make a crossover event between J and K, we can determine what the four chromatids are for Gon. So we can now visualize what happened when the crossover event between J and K happened between the yellow and black chromatid. The orange chromatid is not affected by the crossover event, so its chromatid stays the same as the original MLI centromere JKHG. The white chromatid also remains unchanged from the crossover event with MLK J centromere I HG. And as you can see here, we get two changed chromatids from the crossover event in the black and yellow chromatids. The black chromatid changes to MLI centromere JKLM and loops back to where it came. And the yellow chromatid changes to GHK J centromere IHG and also loop backs to where it originated from. Unfortunately, Due to the crossover event, two of our new chromatids are not viable, which are black and yellow. We know these two chromatids are not viable because they have a doubled area. For a black, the doubled area is M and L, and then L and M. And for yellow, the doubled area is GH and then HG, and both of them are unviable. For Killua, individual two. The chromosomes aren't actually different at all, they just start at different ends of the orange chromatid. Even after the crossover event. And since the chromosome pattern is the same as Gon's, we can use the same information for Killua for our four chromatids. Orange and white have viable gametes, while black and yellow do not. So to conclude, there is not an expected difference in fitness between Gon and Killua. Since both of the chromosome pairs produce the same amount of viable chromatids, which is two, there is not an expected difference.